Hey Bass Geek here, and I'm gonna show you a trick to fish in swim baits for ledge bass that a lot of you may have never seen before. All right guys, the ledge series is gonna continue and we're gonna talk about a head from ledge head that I've really kept secret for several years. But I'm gonna go ahead and let the cat out of the bag today. Guys, that's the slugger head. And let me tell you, this is a completely different way to fish a swim bait than you've ever seen before. The very first thing you'll notice about the slugger head is that it's actually an internal weighted head. So you can only fish this head with hollow body swim baits, okay? So swim baits like the Bastrix, here's your Zoom swimmers, your Shadowlicious's, those sort of baits. So not the hollow bellies, like one of my very favorite uh, swim baits in the world, Bass Munitions is a hollow belly. You've gotta have the hollow bodies. They've gotta be hollow completely through and to the head. So I'm gonna show you how to rig these real quick. And you wanna start by just laying the hook, the ledge head, the slugger head, but on the side of the swim bait. You're gonna see where that hook comes out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a very fine incision, really about three quarters of an inch, probably a half inch incision. You don't want this cut to be very big at all. You're gonna wet your weight. You're gonna slide the head in, get it to the front, and you're just gonna use two fingers to pop the eyelet through the nose of that swim bait. That's it, it's rigged. Tie it on and you're ready to go. Now the real impressive part comes with where you fish this. This is not a bait, you can swim it, but you're gonna get a much better action out of just your standard exposed hook ledge heads. This is a bait for later in the year or when you're looking for that big bite. They're not necessarily chasing. So let's go ahead and talk about rod, reel, and line setup for this particular bait. So one of the very first things you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do is that you don't fish this on your traditional swim bait. You're gonna want a little stiffer rod, a little stiffer or faster reel for this. So, you know, traditionally when it comes to, you know, my soft plastic swim baits, I like a 6.3 to a 6.5 to one setup. That's not the case fishing the slugger head. So the rod you're gonna to wanna to use, now this is a seven foot seven, guys, this is my flipping rod. I'll, just, I'll be honest with you. This is my flipping rod. This is the meat stick from Dixie Custom Rods. Now, before I get into talking about the rod, as always, you know, I wanna tell you about the covers that I use. Guys, this is TRC covers. Make sure you go check them out. As always, there is a uh, link to everything that I use in the description below, including these rod covers. Right here, you're gonna keep from getting anything caught up, any sort of hooks caught in, they're not gonna get tangled. And even for you bank angler guys, I'm telling you, this right here saves the day so many times. You can see I'm literally pushing on this. You're not gonna drive it into the ground. You're not gonna drive it into the tree. It's gonna protect your tips. The other great thing, you can tell, this is not just gonna slide off. So you're not, you're not gonna just drop this off. It's gonna stay on and protect the investment you've made into the rods that you buy. As you can tell, takes a little bit of pressure to get off. Now, the thing that I wanna tell you about, you need a jigging rod. Like I said, I like my flipping stick. This is a seven foot seven. I want a long rod, the longest rod that I can get 
to make the longest cast. We are fishing for ledge fish. So one of the things that you're gonna wanna do is make a cast completely past the school and drag this through the school. That gives you a tip, that is right. We're gonna drag it through the school. So this is a seven foot seven, heavy, fast action. And I've got 20 pound test fluorocarbon on here. Now, if you're fishing real dirty water, you can go with, and I would say probably a foot and a half or less of dirty water. You can go ahead and go straight braid on this. Not a problem whatsoever. I like fluorocarbon. I fish a lot of different lakes. You are gonna have to retie if you're dragging it through a lot of shell beds and a lot of your uh, rock, heavy rock cover out on these ledges or on some deeper points. So like I said, this is a Dixie, Dixie Custom, seven foot seven. This is their meat stick, there is a link. Now, as far as the reel goes, like I said before, this is a seven five. You're not gonna hear me tell you to fish any other swim bait on a reel this fast. This is a 7.5, this is a Lose Super Duty LFS, and uh, I've got it, I've got it uh, spooled up with 20 pound fluorocarbon. That's right, 20 pound test. Any other time on a swim bait, I'm gonna tell you fish 15 pound test, you can get away with that all day long. But that's gonna be my setup. Now let me show you how I actually fish this thing. So now just like with any bait that you're gonna be fishing on the ledges, you're gonna make a long cast. You're gonna let that bait sink to the bottom. If that includes feeding just a little bit of line, you're gonna feed it so it falls straight down or as straight down as possible. Now the difference when it comes to fishing a regular swim bait in this, is that you're gonna drag it on the bottom. You're gonna point your rod tip down at, and have it at about that three to nine o'clock, whichever way you're gonna read the clock. And you're just gonna drag it. See, I can feel that I'm already in a lot of rock. Reel back down and drag up. Now again, you want to go to about 11. Don't go past 11 because you got nowhere to set the hook. You can really feel that rock on the bottom. And that's really it, guys. What is going on with this bait is that it's actually nosing down. So you've got that internal weight system and the tail is floating up as you drag it because the eye tie is at a 90 degree angle to the weight. It actually pulls across the bottom, just like a football head jig, stands the tail of that swim bait up, which causes it to look like a bait fish foraging on the bottom. That's something that, that's a presentation that you really don't give the bass a lot of times, and I can promise you they have not seen that often or if at ever. So you can see why I've kept this sort of presentation kind of secret over the past few years. It's something that it's not generally gonna catch a lot of fish, but it really does catch the bigger fish a lot of times. So make sure you give the slugger a look at, make sure you check out the entire setup. It's down in the description. As always, guys, questions and comments in the comments section below. You guys know I love to talk about fishing with you. And uh, I love to answer each and every one of your comments. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so you get the notifications when these videos come out. And you guys, you guys rock.